Over 380 million tons of new plastic were produced every year and only the 8.7% of these were recycled. Consider that the 37% of the plastic produced is dispersed in the environment, polluting lands, oceans and consequently the food we all eat every day. The Coca-Cola company, holder of brands such as Fanta, Powerade and Dr. Pepper, is the largest producer of plastic bottles in the world. 1.9 billion Coca-Cola soft drinks are sold every year, producing 1.8 billion of packagings. The green wave which is conquering the world pushed Coke to find plastic alternatives, to the point that in 2019 it partnered with the Danish joint venture Paboco, announcing a new bottle in paper and wood pulp. But the Coca-Cola company is not the first to experiment with this new type of bottle. Carlsberg has been developing the idea since 2015, working with packaging experts and academics on the project. And after four years, this bottle was presented to the world. The first paper bottle, an alternative to the classic one in glass, is called green fiber bottle. Sadly, there are two big problems. The first one is that this new package is not so effective like the glass. Paper allows you to keep the beer for up to three months, one third than glass. The second problem is that the bottle is not totally biodegradable and there is no way to make a paper or a biodegradable pug in order to maintain its functionality. But let's move to Coke again, which intends to market these new bottles thanks to the partnership with Paboco, the Danish joint venture between the paper packaging material developer Billerod Krushnes and the bottle manufacturing specialist Alpla. Paboco is created to change the packaging industry by creating recyclable paper bottles with the long-term goal to harness the degrade if accidentally put in nature. Before seeing how the Paboco bottle is composed, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. Don't let innovation slip away. The Paboco, acronym of Paper Bottle Company, is still in the prototypal phase, but it will be composed by five elements. A fiber blend developed to hold the carbonated beverages, a bio-based barrier that withstands both water vapor and oxygen transmission, a tethered cup made from either a biocomposite or just pure paper, and a digital direct painting of sustainable ink or laser engraving to minimize material usage. As I said when we talked about Carlsberg, one of the problems was the plug. At the time, however, we are in the first generation of Paboco paper bottles that present a plastic closure and a plastic lining made in PET. Despite the plastic components that remain, when the project was announced, Sin Fransen, the R&D Packaging Innovation Manager for Coca-Cola, said our vision is to create a paper bottle that can be recycled like any other type of paper and this prototype is the first step on the way to achieve this. This is an example of how important innovation is, also when the first product failed to achieve the ultimate goal. The Carlsberg and Coca-Cola example, however, can reassure us because, despite all the difficulties, we have the awareness that big companies are investing in a cleaner future. It's questionable when these bottles will launch on the market. The trial of the paper bottle prototype is scheduled to take place in Hungary in the second quarter of 2021, where 2000 bottles of ADZ will be offered to consumers by one of the Hungary's fastest growing online grocery retailers, Kifli. But what's ADZ? ADZ is an Argentine brand acquired in 2017 by Coca-Cola. The word ADZ is short for food from seeds because it uses seeds like coconuts, yes they are seeds, albons and oats to create their beverages. ADZ is one of the leaders of the vegan drinks, 
perfect for lactose intolerance and for people who want to take plant-based nutrition, vitamins and minerals. I really hope you enjoyed the video, leave me a like and subscribe to the channel to keep innovating.